what is going on guys so today as you can see I got my new capture card I'm so excited to be starting to make new videos without my recording of my with my phone finally can record with my capture card that's awesome man uh, I, it's just been so long since I've actually made a good YouTube video so I hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay by me um, this is a capture card quality test um, so I want you guys to rate the quality of this um, capture card uh, that I just recently got a one domination in the comment section below. Um, so I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I'm using uh, Honey Badger. Secure your objectives. Extended bag. So, Securing C. As Enemy has know, A. Uh, Try to secure. My first game or whatever that I've recorded with an actual like capture card I've always been playing so I'm still surprised at how many subscribers I got that's ridiculous but for those people that are still sub to me um thanks so, I mean I hope you guys feel that we're in the lead capture that the quality of this capture card is good because the best that I can get with the budget that I have, it costs about like a hundred dollars. So if you guys want to watch the rest of this video, because I'm going to get over an 11 minute video. But if you guys want to watch how I play Call of Duty Ghost, this is the next video. And yeah, I just got into a random session played. And I just recorded it just randomly, just one game, just to see how good We've this lost part. And apparently, it's it's good. I mean, my I myself, I'll Enemy give it like a six, seven out of ten. I hope you guys will understand because I honestly don't think it's an eight or a nine or a ten out of ten. I don't think it has that good of a quality, but I mean, it's not really the best capture card out there obviously. It's Securing Bravo. Pretty much average since it costs a hundred dollars. I mean you can record it with it's pretty good to record with. But it's not the best. It's not like an Elgato. It's not like a Hapao. It's just the basic type sort that anyone can buy for a hundred dollars off of like Amazon today. So I hope you guys don't mind me being too cheap, but this is the first time I've been able to try out this YouTube commentating stuff. So, off the grid. Something that I want to talk to you guys about while this gameplay goes on is Friendly SATCOM uh, active. my clan, which I, I usually never play solo. I always play with my clan, and you guys know that I always play with. Well, you probably don't. And this clan is called Sage, Sage and Short. And you should, you guys should check out the We're YouTube the channel lead. for the clan. It's uh, you can just seat. type in Sage, don't rage quit. No spaces in the YouTube search bar. They have like a thousand six hundred subscribers. Um, they're pretty good. Um, the leader of the clan is Gucci Onana. XX Gucci Onana XX, something like that. And Losing he's pretty chill. He's a chill leader. Cool guy. Um, the but the clan is a tryhard clan, so me. I think the enemy has to get him. The clan is like a two, two point five, something like around there. So if you guys do want to try out, there's a tryout video on the clan uh, a YouTube page. You just have to get like how many years. Come at your game attack or something, or even like add Gucci spotted. or whatever his name is. Uh, I can't, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Well, I know his name's Gucci or not, but I don't remember how to spell his whole thing. We're in the lead! So, um, and, uh, something else that I really want to touch on is uh, I don't know if you guys have really noticed this in the game, but I feel like snipers are extremely overpowered and they should be patched the hell out of in this game. I mean, I feel like snipers really need to be patched down and they shouldn't be a one-shot kill. It's up pretty much everywhere because 
even with the suppressor, the sniper is extremely overpowered, and you can't really do anything about it. You can't, you can't do positions it's across the map, or at the kid freaking barrel stuff to you, you pretty much die every single time. The chances of you surviving a sniper bullet are pretty slim, which is pretty ridiculous. Since people can just camp in the back of the map with so much stuff. I really feel like that's overpowered. And I also think that the explosives are way overpowered. I mean, even if you rock the last shield, which I feel like you shouldn't have to, but now I'm forced to rock the last shield. Hey, and something else, if you, there's a kid that's not even playing the game. Friendly ground jammer active. This is AFK, and I'm just getting kills off of him. I feel like that's not fair to him. If this kid is AFK, check him out of the game. I should be getting two kills. Um, so if you guys want to try out Sage and you think you have the right what it takes, you should check out Sage Don't Rage Quit on YouTube. Holy chill clan. But you guys should watch out for TC Smack and then he can be uppity about stuff sometimes. If one of the Sage members watches this, I don't know what I mean. Um, see, like, there are people that I'm playing with like, are just noobs. Like, what is that guy doing? I was looking, watching the laptop, the computers on the wall. Like, he was just like, running it against the wall, like, what's wrong? And then there's just some people that are just so bad at this game. They, like, no. And then, wait, something else? There's, um, there's this, like, new tryhard thing that just came out. And it's running a riot shield with two C4s. And I think that's extremely overpowered because now, now like, you, uh, back in, like, MW3, you used to be able to, um, throw your, um, throw your C4, but when you did that, you had to, like, pull back your riot shield, but now you can throw it, like, over your riot shield, so if the kid isn't rocking blast shield, you're pretty much done for, like, you can't shoot him, extremely overpowered. And, I mean, I feel like this game has so many things that are overpowered and you die so quickly. Even in the heavy duty, uh, in, even in heavy duty, you still can die by snipers extremely easy. Uh, it's still Losing pretty much an above the waist kill. It still doesn't matter, snipers active. are still overpowered to hell. And they're still never gonna patch them. I, I really doubt it because honestly, Infinity Ward never cares about their game. They never, as soon as they make a bunch of money on it. They make, like, they're just rolling in cash. And like GTA, they're just rolling their cash. They don't care that there's DNS mods on GTA 5. They don't care that people have God mode, that they're giving away billions of dollars to people. They don't care about that. And I also apologize for the lag in this game. My internet connection was kind of lagging, so it's kind of stupid. But yeah, they don't care. So as soon as they make the, the, these big companies, make so much money on these games like Call of Duty, GTA, all those big Assassin's Creed. Or well Assassin's Creed really isn't a problem, but like the ones that have multiplayer and they have bugs and issues in them, they don't really care. They just they just roll in the money. And as you can see right there, it just died from the IED. I mean like it's ridiculous. Like they could just put them in anywhere and you just die automatically. We're winning this fight. I feel like it's overpowered. But anyway like I was saying, they don't care about their games. As soon as they make, as soon as the money rolls in, as soon as all that, like, all that cash rolls in, they're not gonna patch anything. They could just, they just send us all to hell. They don't patch anything. Like, they, they tried to patch the snipers, but they did nothing. They didn't, like, nerf any guns, like, um, Black Ops 2, they're, they're never gonna, let's see, there's the lag, but, yeah, they're never gonna nerf. They're never gonna nerf any guns. I mean, I really do wish they do nerf the snipers and the shotguns, but they're never gonna. Because honestly, they don't care. They just want money. That's why they, all these big gaming companies are after. They just want more money. They don't care if you're not satisfied with the game. If you pay the $60, it's your fault. And I honestly think that's not fair. That they should at least try to do something about the snipers. I mean, honestly, I'm not the only person that thinks that snipers are overpowered. I mean, honestly, people are still should be able to use snipe in the game, but it shouldn't be that overpowered. And the explosives, the shotgun, like some things are just so overpowered that it's just not possible to even go up against them. Like, 
just one hit kills no matter what, like throwing knives. I, I don't think that if you throw a knife at someone's uh, arm, they're gonna die. I don't, you, I mean, if you hit them in the arm with a knife, uh, I don't think they're gonna die, honestly. Um, even in real life, I mean, if, if a knife goes into your arm, you're not gonna die instantly. I don't think, I don't think that's humanly possible. If a knife goes in your foot, I doubt you're gonna die instantly. But if a knife, of course, goes into your head, of course you're gonna die. That would make sense. But like something about the game, they should just add. Uh, anyway, I hope did hope you guys did, uh, enjoy this gameplay here. Um, please once again rate the quality of this video. Once again, in the comment section below. Hopefully, my gameplay was too bad, too rubbish. All right, all right. Peace out, guys.